through disassembly assembly method. Ensure that the temperature of the machine barrel has dropped down to 100 degrees centigrade before disassembling the screw. Use a crane to lift up the mold and make the lifting hook just be straightened while keeping the mold on the ground. Dismantle the connecting flange for the confluence core. Move away the mold without rotation. Disassemble both the heating control line and the temperature sensor of the confluence core. Remove the confluence core. First, dismantle the connecting block between the confluence core and the machine barrel and then move away the confluence core with crane. Attention! The sling shall avoid the wire holder of the heating control line for the confluence core. Turn on the motor of the main machine so as to clean up all the materials remaining inside the machine barrel. Disassemble the feeding device and the circulating cooling water pipe. Dismantle the discharging port of the feeding device. Dismantle the connecting block between the screw and the high-speed shaft of the gearbox. Loosen the large connecting nut between the machine barrel and the gearbox. Dismantle the fixing seat for the cooling fan. Remove the metal hose for vacuuming. Remove the machine barrel front to back, adjusting handwheel clockwise so as to separate the machine barrel from the gearbox. Use a crane to move out the machine barrel with rotation until the passing in out of the screw is not affected. Remove the fixing block to prevent the screw from falling back. Pull the screw out of the machine barrel slightly and then take down the gasket for gap adjustment and the backflow prevention stop block. If the screw has been stuck, please use some special tools and a hydraulic jack to push the screw out from its front end. After having pulled out the screw by one-third of its length and having separated two pieces of screws completely, 
pull them out one by one and then place them on some soft cushion blocks. Attention! The screw's right to left placement position shall be exactly the same as that before dismantling. Clean up the materials remaining inside the machine barrel and on the screw until both of them are tidy and clean. Install the screw into the machine barrel by two-thirds of its length according to the original position. Attention! During the installation process, try to avoid any collision between these two pieces of screws. Rotate the screws to make the stem coating on their connecting shafts face to each other and then push both of them together into the machine barrel. Install the gasket for gap adjustment and the backflow prevention stop block. Mount the fixing block to prevent the screw from falling back. Move the machine barrel with rotation with a crane to make it. The connecting shaft for the screw in line with the high-speed shaft of the gearbox. Meanwhile, confirm that the key groove of the connecting shaft for the screw shall correspond to that of the gearbox's high-speed shaft. Rotate the machine barrel front to back adjusting handwheel anti-clockwise so as to make the machine barrel's screw close to the gearbox's high-speed shaft. Tighten the big connecting knot between the machine barrel and the gearbox. Observe with a dial indicator and then adjust the screw's front to back gap. Install the connecting plug between the screw and the high speed shaft of the gearbox. Mount both the discharging port of the feeding device and the circulating cooling water pipe. Install the feeding device. Install the metal hose for vacuuming and then tighten them by using a pipe wrench. Mount the fixing seat for the cooling fan. Install the confluence core. First, install the positioning hole of the confluence core and the positioning pin on the machine barrel in place. And then, mount the connecting block. After that, lock the screws. While locking these screws, Use a copper to tap the connecting block. 